Welcome back everyone, I'm Zell, and today we're doing a printer drag race. Not joking, we're going to light a fire under all four of these printers behind me, and we're going to see who comes out on top. So, we should probably set this up. Right over here, we have the Prusa Mini hiding in the corner, a little diminutive thing, running at 40 millimeters a second. We have the MK3S, also from Prusa, running at 45 millimeters a second. Back here, we have the Ender 3 from Creality running at a blazing 50 millimeters a second. All these are base speeds. And then we have the Raptor 2 over here running at 45 millimeters a second. All of these printers are going to print this little twist box that I designed just for this particular test. It's available over on my mini factory. You can download it and print it yourself. See how your printer compares to these four. And they are all running slices out of what the community would probably consider to be their default slicers. For the Prusa machines, it is Prusa Slicer, most current version, 2.1, I believe. And for the Ender 3, it's 4. Point whatever the current version as of today for Cura is. Sorry, guys, that one updates so often that I lose track. And Cura is also the slicer for the Raptor 2. Now, the Raptor 2 is running a custom profile that I've developed over several months, so you know, maybe this one's cheating a little bit. The other three are running the defaults. The only changes that were made were to level out the number of top and bottom layers, so no machine had a distinct advantage on one of the slower parts of a print. And uh, the Z-Seam was changed on the Ender 3 so that it wasn't lining up all in one place because with this little box, if you line the Z-seam up all in one place, the box won't work. Need it at the corner or somewhere else in the print. So I really think, guys, without further ado, it's time to drag race. So three, two, one, go. All right, so let's talk about the results. Nobody run off. Nobody jumped to the comments yet. It's, it's, it's okay. So the Raptor 2 came in first place, right? Well, I, I told you, kind of alluded to the fact that it was cheating before. It is. It's running a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. It was going to outrun all of them, even if we cut its speed down by another 10 millimeters a second uh, for base speed. So... 
This one doesn't really count. I just threw it in here because I thought it was fun and it was big and it was back here, so might as well do it. What is interesting comes after that. And for you Ender 3 guys, we'll get there. Hang on. First up is the Prusa Mini outran the MK3S. Why is that? Well, I was curious myself, so I opened up Prusa Slicer. I start going through all of the settings. And very interestingly, some of the speed settings under the printer speed tab are faster on the Mini. You go down to the machine limits tab and some of the accelerations are faster on the Mini. Now this is because it has a lighter print head. And even though it does re retractions, longer retractions by about five point some odd millimeters than the MK3S does, it still, on this file, makes it pretty quick. And let's look at those two real quick. This is the Prusa Minis file, which is just, well, it's pretty much perfect. And except that I can't get these things to come apart and go back together very well. And then we have the MK3S coming in second, which I'm sure everyone thought it would have come in first, but not on this file. And, but of course, the, uh, the Prusa just makes a gorgeous file. And I do believe that if you got to a more complicated file with a lot more retractions in it, that even though Prusa's retractions on the Mini are kind of crazy fast and reasonably short for a Bowden style machine, I think the MK3S would eventually overtake the uh, Prusa Mini on a more complex file. Maybe not, but that's that's what I'm I'm guessing. Either way, I think they're going to be fairly close most of the time. And then we get to the very disappointing results from the Ender 3. Now, it's not the machine, guys. For those of you that have an Ender 3, and you've been wondering why your prints are taking forever, it's Cura. And I really, if you guys know how to get around all this, please let me know down in the comments, because I rooted around in a lot of dark places in Cura, and outside of Cura, in config files and stuff like that, trying to figure out how to speed this machine up in Cura. And I never accomplished more than knocking about 15 minutes off the print. So somebody mentioned the other day that they're in Prusa Slicer 2.2 Beta, that there was a profile for the Ender 3. So I'm like, all right. So I down, went to the GitHub, downloaded that, and it was already faster, considerably faster, uh, as far as the sliced time in the, in the uh, slicer was. And I was like, well, why can't the Ender 3 print as fast as the Prusa Mini? It should be able to, especially this one here. This one here has a dual gear extruder. It has automatic bed leveling and all the stuff so there's no reason that it should not be able to print as fast as the Prusa Mini. So what I did was I opened up two slicer windows and put all of the speeds from the Prusa Mini into the speeds for the Ender 3. And you're not going to believe the results compared to Cura. You'll get to see them here in a minute. I just wanted you guys to know that's how I did that because I'm not going to release that profile there's a couple of things I've got to fix. I will show you the file I got out of it, and the file looks pretty darn good. I think there may be just a little bit of tweaking to do, but it actually looks better than the slow file, with the exception of the two corners where the head was moving back and forth, and there was some weird stringing there, so I've got to figure that out. But all I did was ramp the speeds up to Prusa Mini Speeds in Prusa Slicer, slice it for the Ender 3, and off to the races we went. And guys, as soon as I sign off here, I'm going to run that video. And you guys let me know in the comments, if you run this on your printer, no matter what it is, let me know what the printer is, and let me know what your time is. And whether you're using a default profile or a custom profile that you've built. Because I just think it's interesting. Like I said, you can grab this file over on my mini factory. The uh, link will be down in the description. That way we all have 
the same file in the description over my mini factory it'll tell you which file inside the zip to use and you guys have a great day and here we are off with the ender 3 out of prusa slicer